Hey folks, Peter here. Welcome to the video. We're coming to you from a new space. This is kind of exciting. We'll get into that later though. Right now, I've got a new rail bench ledge, or whatever you want to call it, for fingerboarding. And we're gonna open it up and get a look at it. So this is from Transformer Rails. If I didn't already give it away by saying rail, ledge, bench, whatever. I don't know how to fully open this. I didn't bring a knife with me, but I think, I think I can be a big boy and just. All right, got the rail out. Here it is. Uh, it's all wrapped up. This thing's got some weight to it. This came with a little thing there. Use at your own risk. Transformer rails strongly suggest wearing protective gear. I think they just kind of toss this in as a generic. I mean, some instructions on here how to adjust it. You can, there's some bolts on there. We'll get into that here in a bit. Show us you're using it and how you're using it. Take them online. Oh, nice. Came with a sheet of stickers here. There you go. Nice little sheet of stickers. Put those on some stuff. They got like some sewer caps and then just some logos and such and stickers. And a big sticker. Look at that. All right. So that's everything that came in the package there. And here's the rail. I don't think I'm gonna go beast on this one and rip it open. I just gotta, I gotta do this one a little more delicately, I think. I'm trying so hard. I think, I think I found the end. It was at the other side. Uh, I lost it. I lost the lead. The trail has gone cold. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. And we're clear. Somehow got on my arm. I don't understand that, but whatever. So here it is. This is the transformer rail, as you guys can see. Does all sorts of stuff there. You tighten these things on the end and you can have a round rail, as you guys can see there. You can have yourself a nice little ledge slash bench. We can turn it that way and have a flat bar, which I think I might use the most, but we'll see, we'll see. On the bottom, you guys can see that there, there is an Allen wrench, and it's actually held in place with some magnets. That's pretty cool. That way, you always have that with you. Pop that off. Tighten it down, you're good to go. So it also came with a sheet, some rubber foam, you guys know it, you love it. It's not pre-cut though, so if I wanna use it, I'm gonna have to cut it, and I don't have anything to cut this with on me. It does look like it's the right width, just a little extra, which I, I get, I understand. And it looks like you can, if you're, if you're really good, you could probably get four out of this. So you got two applications with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this rail set up. Not gonna do too many tricks. I don't have the GoPro with, so I can't really do any slow motion tricks. But we'll adjust the camera here, set this rail up, and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. Genuine, first go. Okay, okay, okay. Right off the bat, this thing is solid. It's it's pretty heavy. If you if you look carefully, this end here, when I tightened it, it started to shift this way a little bit, and I don't know if that's due to having it up like this. That is so. This is solid. This is a solid bar right here. This is I don't know steel whatever. Solid piece of steel, powder coated, and well, I don't know what it is. Powder coat, sure, I don't know. But that just, that's solid. Again, if you look, the, the, the feet are, this one's definitely out a little bit this way. This one's leaning in a little bit. And that could just come down to little tiny variances in it and I haven't adjusted it yet but first impressions I mean 
that's pretty solid, pretty smooth. So I didn't put any of the rubber feet on yet. I didn't bring anything to cut those with. It is solid enough where if you're hitting your tricks, it's fine. But if you're slamming uh, like a tail slide or, you know, blunts in it or whatever, you might shift it around a little bit. But once you get those foam rubber feet on there, this thing's going to be perfect. I think anyway, that's just a initial thought. So here's how you actually adjust it. You just take that wrench, and I didn't have it on the bottom, I had it off to the side here. And you loosen this, I really tighten this down. So that was barely a quarter turn there, if even. And a quarter turn there, I don't know if you can see that adjust. Ah, okay. I think that's just the edges of this, uh, this centerpiece. I think that those just aren't squared up as they probably could be, but that's all you do there. And then, you know, maybe you want to do a little angle for some reason. And what's really nice is you just set this down, get it where you want it, get a level, I guess, if you really need it. But I mean, you know, it's a, it's a bench, get it close. Did you see that shift again? Now it's in like this and again here. That one stayed in place. But you can turn it around. Obviously you have one round side and one squared off edge there. You got a few different options there. And again, that's all gonna come down to, you now maybe does that feel better than, than coming in like this? I like the round better actually for that. Feels good. This grip's old. If you, if you can see it kind of getting floppy on there. Not tall enough to send a board under, which is a little unfortunate, but not a huge deal. Just barely though, it's, it's the lip of this. I mean, it is wide enough. Not, not by much. I also don't have a tech deck with me, so I can't do like a full, you know, everyday comparison, I guess is the term. I do like that. So that's it in bench setting there. And then let's just check this flat bar out real quick here. Again, watch this. Do you see how it's leaning like that in? And now it's shifted again there even. I don't think that's user error either. <laughs> there you go, just like that. And when you've got it all set, you just pop that thing in there. And we'll even just leave it like this so you can see that that just stays there. I like it. I like it a lot. It's nice and smooth, like I said. I mean, it's fresh. It's a fresh coating on there. I'm generally pretty good when it comes to keeping the finishes intact. I don't really have much in the way of scratchy hardware or trucks. So I'm not gonna be grinding the edges off. So that finish should hold up pretty well. I'm not gonna be able to tell you if it doesn't or not off of a couple minutes of use here but from what i'm seeing so far it seems pretty good i do like this it gives you a couple different options maybe you want the round rail maybe you want the flat bar maybe you want to just have it benched up you can even flip it upside down and then you kind of have i don't know some sort of weird setup there too <laughs> it does give you some options though or maybe if you have a bank and you want i mean you can adjust this where the top and then kick the legs over to the side like that. And then you have a nice bar that way. Seems like there's a few different options there. Transformer rails. I mean, I'm not trying to get too many tricks in right now. More just want to show this off. First impressions, I'm digging it. 
right, so that was just kind of a first look at the transformer rail. I remember these coming out a, a little bit ago now. I don't remember exactly when. And I wanted one, and I wanted it in orange, but it was sold out by the time I got to the site. I saw they were in stock the other day, so obviously I had to get one. And I'm glad I did. I think this will fit well in a nice, kind of like a rail park, or anywhere that you might need something, like I said before, if you need a balance on a bank, and then you still want a nice rail on it, it gives you some more options there. That's always kind of a cool feature. So like I was saying, I think this has some good versatility for it. If you want a few different rails or different options, but you don't want to be lugging, lugging a few different rails with you, you got a few different options in one here, which is kind of cool. You do have to stop and fiddle with these bolts on the end, but there's no real way around that if you want to do multiple uses on a single rail. I think it's pretty cool. I think it was like 65 bucks. Maybe it's a little high, but again, you're getting three options in one. I'm definitely all for it there. And like I said earlier, I'm filming from a new spot. I didn't want to take away from this video from this rail, but this is my first time filming in this new location. It's still in my house. I just have a new room opened up and I plan on doing lots of filming in here, fingerboard or otherwise. I mean, I've got this nice backdrop up here. This is just, this is literally just a wall back here. <laughs> I just staple that up for now. I'm excited to see what this space can do. I'll make another video on this area later, kind of give a tour of this room once it's more fleshed out. But for now, I literally just brought in this table, this camera, light, tossed this up, made a video. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for all your support. Let me know if you want to see more fingerboard content. It's obviously on the way. It just takes some time for me to get to it. Let me know if there's something you want to see or a certain product you'd like me to review, anything like that, down in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.